In this film I'm going to show you how to use the copying tools in TurboCAD and um, for this exercise I'm using TurboCAD Professional Platinum version 18. The um, copying tools up to 18 used to be down here somewhere, it used to be the uh, penultimate tool in the uh, tools toolbar but they're not here anymore. They've moved a few things around in 18 which can be a little bit frustrating at the beginning but you'll soon get used to it if you're used to an earlier version. And uh, anyway, if you need a tool, you can simply go up to the top here, right click your mouse, and here's all your tools. So I'm looking for the copying tools, there they are, close, there's the copying tools. They're all greyed out because there's nothing to copy. Uh, now, on the right click of my mouse, I have the tools I'm going to use for this exercise. Circle tools, curve tools, and the line tools. Again, certain line tools are greyed out because they're not... Of, uh, they just can't be used. Um, now, if I want to edit this, uh, what's called a local menu, I can go to Tools, Customize, Pop up toolbars, and here are the three you see checked that I would, uh, had on my local menu. I don't really want curves, so I'll turn those off, go Close. Now, when I right click, the curves have gone. So, for the first exercise, I'm going to use the rectangle. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to snap to these. Uh, in my, I think my first tutorial, the one about snaps, it explains how I set my snaps up. Um, so have a look at that if you don't know. But a G snap and G snaps, I'm snapping to the grid. There's my rectangle. I know that rectangle's 25 by 50 mil. All the select tools, you select the object first. You want to copy. Now, as soon as I've selected that, you'll notice these have went live. So the first tool. Linear copy. In a linear copy, you specify the distance between each object and how many objects you want copied. So, here's a, here's the uh, information boxes down here. So I'm going to say I want, and the X step, I'm going left to right. I want a distance of 75 apart. In the Y step, I don't want them going up or down. I want them totally horizontal, so it's going to be naught. The Z step, I've got no height, so that's going to stay naught number I want says so 6 there, that's fine. Now I've got 6. Now you notice I've got 6. I've not got 6 extras, I've got 6. Control Z, one step back. Select the box again. The second type of linear copy is a linear fit copy. Now in this copy, uh, in this type of copy, I, I, I specify the distance that I want them to be copied over and the number that I want to fill into that distance. So I'll do them going down this time. Um, so let's say, um, so this time on my X coordinate, I don't want them moving because I want them vertically down. Here, the distance I want them over, now this is going to be a minus because I'm coming down, so minus, uh, say, 360. That's going to be naught again. The sets I want, say I want seven, hit return. There they are, and there's a seven of them coming down. So there's my linears and my linear fit copies. The next ones to look at are the array copies. Now, in the array copy, you specify the distance both in the X and the Y plane and how many columns and how many rows of them you want. So let's say again, so in the X I'm going over towards the left, I want them 80 apart. In the Y step, and I'm coming down, so it's a minus, say I want them 60 apart. Z again is nothing. Rows, how many rows coming down do I want? Say I want 6. And how many columns across? Well, we'll say 7. Hit return. There they are. Obviously, um, I could have had them going up or going that way. It depends upon you know, your, your positive or, or negative numbers you type in those boxes. Control Z. It takes me back. <clears throat> the array fit copy. Now this is one where, as if you imagine these were tables and you had to fit a certain number in a room, here you would specify the size of the room. So here's the size of my room here. Um, so I'm going to say, right, my room is uh, 550 
by and coming down again minus 400 as the size of my room rows how many of those do I want coming down so I want uh, I, I'll leave that well I'll change that to five and the columns perhaps I've got to fit in eight hit return and it does that so we've got the five column one two three four five and the eight rows one two three four five six seven eight job done so that's if you've got to fit a number of objects within a, a known space so control a features everything delete gets rid of everything <coughs> next set of copying are the rotation copies Now, um, if I rotate a circle first, it's easy. Show the principles. Select the object that I want to rotate. Select the uh, radial copy. Now they'll rotate around that circle. So I want to center that circle on here. So I go onto the circumference, hit C. Type in set. So if I do a really obvious one, uh, say six sets, it works out the angle for me. Hit return. Now we've got six of them. It's as simple as that. Now it will work with. Um, you don't have to have circles around this. And if you have other shapes, there's variations on what you can do. So let me show you something else here. If I do a, if I draw a rectangle here, and I select it, and I do the rotation copy, and I'll leave it, uh, and I center it first. See for center, and I'll leave it as it is. Six sets, angle 60, hit return. Now you can see that the, the, the long face of the rectangle is facing inwards all the way around. You know, you, it's not necessarily the way you have to do it. If, when you choose your radial copy and you center it, when you go through this, if then you say the rotation is 360 and hit return, You'll notice they're rotated another way. They keep their the, their x and y planes in the same way around as they were in the first one. So there's all sorts of little variations on what I'm showing you. I'm showing you the, the basics here. Uh, you've got to get that right and then then look in the manual, as they say. I won't say the vernacular one for that one. So that's the radial. Copy. Now also there's a radial fit copy. So if you didn't want the thing going all the way around the circle. Uh, here you can say six sets, uh, angle, rotation, I can't quite remember which box I put this in. Let's try that one. Oh, got it wrong. So I got those there. Let's undo. So the radial fit copy, it fits them in the, so here six, here uh, angle 180, here if I type in 180 here, let's see what happens. That's right. So I've still got six, and they only rotate for 180 degrees around, around it. And as you saw there, something funny went on, or I just forgot something. There's, there are variations within the way these things work. Um, other ways of copying. Well, this one here is quite straightforward that you just click onto that and click onto that and it does that I mean that's uh, that can't be more straightforward can it? you can move it there so I, I can move that there if I use this and then do that it moves it and keeps it if I pick this up and move it around obviously when I dump it there it's there if I pick it up and be just before I drop it I put my finger on control push on control you see this little box appears then when I left click I've got another one so if you just need to copy one quickly, you can do that. If you need to copy a number of them, you can say make copy. So if, for example, I had um, some sort of design, maybe I had a, 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 a perhaps I'm designing kitchens or something, and I had kitchen, utent uh, kitchen fittings up here, and I had a, uh, a room down here, that I had to fit these into and I had a number of them to fit in what I could do is I could when I select this thing I could uh, go uh, make copy 
and so I could bring that in and so my original is still there so you know if you were perhaps doing a, I don't know, a house or something you had a stock door you might have one stock door up the top and drag them in as, as and when you needed them you must remember when you finish doing that to click on and unclick make copy if you had lots and lots of things like maybe I don't know perhaps perhaps if we imagine that was a tree or something and I just had to scatter loads of them all over the place I might use the rubber stamp I can do that every time I click I've got another one and if they were sort of trees that you've taken out from a, a symbols library you could sort of vary them all a little bit after you've done them so they didn't quite all look the same so that's the rubber stamp rubber stamps an old uh, drawing comes from drawing packages, Illustrator, Freehand, Photoshop, all that sort of business. And the last one to show you is the mirror copy. Now the mirror copy mirrors a shape along a path. So I'm going to draw a shape here using uh, just snap into grid here. Now I've, I've put that purposely on a grid. I select it, I select mirror copy and what I do now is then two more clicks and I, I draw a mirror line. So if I draw that line here and there, that's where it's mirrored. So if I want that mirrored exactly over here, I choose the mirror copy. I can choose, I can use the grid to snap to, to use as my grid. Or, can you see, I can choose one point and type the angle in down here. If I just do a grid here, that gives that to me there. The other useful thing with this grid one is that, uh, uh, sorry, the mirror one, is that if I was to draw s some unusual shape, I, only, I would only need to draw half of it and then I could mirror it. So I can mirror it on itself. I can go, I can go V there if I wanted to, and V there. And then you could, you know, take out that line if you needed to. And um, I think that's about it. You'll also notice I right-clicked and went on to mirror copy, but uh, we, uh, sorry, uh, make copy. We've got make copy down here as well, and the rubber stamp is down there as well. So uh, I'll just show you this. So we've got um, here they are. There's the uh, make copy, and there's the rubber stamp. So there's a couple of places you can pick those up from. Um, get off. Right, uh, that's about it all for the copying tools. As I say, there are variations, there's ways of copying things that making them larger as they come along, and also in 3D, you can have 3D objects and set a path for them to go around, and, and for each stage, for each object to get larger and larger. So, this is just the basics, there's a, it, there's, there's a lot more depth to the ways that things can be copied in TurboCAD, but this will get you started, and after that, as I say, it's the manual for you.